Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> this is like a group photo. You read the title. This is gonna be my first time building a PC. Finally, because I've been waiting for this moment for more than two years, because I applied for self-employment support, and finally after so many rejections, my funds finally got approved and paid up and I finally have the money to buy all the components. I opened up a video production company. The company is just the most effective way for me to monetize my business in a legal way. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a video production editing monster. So this PC is meant to be performance first, so there's no RGB or very little of it because I didn't want a light box ornament, I wanted the video editing machine. And I realize it's complete overkill, but I'm hoping to have this PC for like at least five years. And maybe I'll also use it for mining, so hopefully get some, some of the cost back that way. Now let me go over the parts and I'm gonna tell you why I chose each component. And I'm gonna be saying the price in Croatian Kunas, but I'm gonna put the conversion to US dollars on the screen. CPU. I decided to go with the 5950X pretty much because Uopa, pretty much because it's the best out there and again it's gonna be overkill but it's gonna be great at editing and it's gonna be great at video games too. I hope you to finally play Witcher 3 and Watch Dogs and all the other games I missed on, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, stuff like that. I'm also looking forward to giving Blender a go because I can see myself enjoying 3D modeling. That was one of my biggest fears going into this that one of the parts was gonna come. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. That one of the parts was. <laughs> oh, that one of the parts was gonna come damaged and then I don't have to first diagnose and then RMA it and. It sounds like a drag. Anyway, so the CPU cost 5,744 kunas. Next up is the GPU. I decided to go for the 3090. For editing it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, the 3080 is a much better uh, cost to performance ratio. But for Blender uh, I think it's gonna make sense and for gaming it doesn't make sense. If I waited a few days I could have gotten the Gigabyte Gaming OC for a bit cheaper but at some point you gotta just buy it and stop waiting. The GPU cost 17,415 kunas. Next up is the motherboard. I went for the MSI Unify X570. Uh, the reason I chose this one was because pretty much it was the uh, cheapest the cheapest motherboard that had three M.2 slots. And there's only one SSD in here but I'm gonna be hopefully adding two more to that later. When you get a CD, I mean it's 2021 and it costs 2,674 kunas. Oops. Fine, that's all fine. I'm gonna keep that in the case for now. Next up is the RAM. This is so fancy it has to come with its own fiber cloth. <laughs> for the memory I wanted two times 32 gigabytes of 3600 megahertz and I wanted CL16 and I found a really good uh, price on, on, on a pair but unfortunately they had it listed wrong and it was actually CL18 and then I had to RMA it and I couldn't wait around and I just needed to buy whatever was available and that was this G-Skill Trident Z Royal which is the silver version which is a bit, you know uh, this purchase stinks. Uh, I overpaid for it. I paid 3,798 kunas But again, it was the best I could find that day and I wasn't gonna wait around for it For another week because I lost a lot of time already and I just wanted to get to building For the cooler I wanted to go with an AIO and I wanted to go with 360 millimeters and 
I went with the X73 Kraken from X NZXT. Not much to say about it. I uh, just I think it looks cool. The NZXT sounds kind of cool. You know, it's like next, but it's futuristic. Next. I don't know. <laughs> For the cooler, I paid 1,225 kunas. Next up is the SSD and I pretty much chose the best out there which is the Samsung 980 Pro and I went for the one terabyte version which I'm gonna store my OS and applications and then later when I add two more I'm gonna add the 970 EVO pluses uh, two times two terabytes I'm gonna use those for media the SSD cost me a thousand five hundred and eighty seven kunas it's so tiny so cute! Oh my god! You have no idea this is gonna be this small. It's so cute. For the PSU, I wanted a thousand watts just because to have some overhead, and supposedly they work best at like 60%. I went for Corsair because it's a re reliable brand, and I wasn't gonna uh, joke around with parts expensive as this. Uh, I wanted something that was reliable. So you get this pamphlet and it says important information but then on the back of it it says Corsair do your thing <laughs> so it says important information but whatever just do your thing I paid a thousand four hundred and eighty four kunas for this so much cables so much and the last component is the case I went for the Pure Base 500DX by Be Quiet. So the reason I went for the white is because my room is black and white and also I didn't want a black case because it was gonna show dust more easily and I'm lazy. It has great reviews, great thermals and also something which was important to me, it has great noise performance. The Jesus from Gamers Nexus gave it a really good review and if he thinks it's good then it's gonna serve me well. I paid around 800 kunas for the case. I guess you're supposed to do it like this and then slide it out. But there's no like... Is there instructions somewhere that I missed? No! Yeah, I'll just try and slide this out. Yeah, it's not happening. I just plop it. And hope for the best. gotta be a better way. Ah. Where do I hold this? I don't wanna mess something up. <laughs> That's chunky. Introduction. Garantia. Instruction constructor. Specification. Let's keep that by hand just in case. And then I also got the thermal compound by Arctic, the MX2. It was cheap, uh, the way I understand, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. I don't even know if I need it or if this cooler comes with a thermal pad on it. Yeah, we'll see about that, but I got it just in case to have it here. Uh, the thermal paste cost me around 20 kunas. And lastly, this big box. Uh, it's not a PC component, but it's my monitor. I went for the BenQ PD3200U. Again, video production. My main concern with the monitor was that it's big, 4K and color accurate. And this is actually one of the cheapest uh, monitors that comes pre-calibrated, that is 
4K and it's also 32 inches. There are some 27 inch options out there but I really wanted a 32 inch because I'm also hoping to use it as sort of a TV or rather a Netflix monitor. And that's all the parts. Now let's get to... For this I'm gonna be using a tutorial from YouTube from TechSource. I just quickly, quickly skimmed through it and I think it should have everything I need. Okay, so this has been my main and only editing PC for the past like five years. So you can imagine I'm going from two cores to what is it like 16? I'm super excited. Hello and welcome. If you're planning on building your very first PC, then you click on the right video. This, this is a full in depth step by step build guide. All right, so let's start off taking the motherboard and the rest of the accessories out of its box. Exciting. Okay, so we're installing AMD AM4 CPU. So grab the CPU by its side and locate the golden the motherboard inside. If you look closely on your AMD motherboard, you can see a triangle view from its side. This is heavy. Gently onto place. Before moving on, check over the CPU and make sure it's fully seated on socket. This triangle is so tiny. Oh, this is no bracket. Easily, while grabbing CPU from its side, we're gonna lower it down very gently onto the socket and let it fall in place. <laughs> A2 and B2? Should I do it on this side too? I think some people do it on just one side and... Mm. <laughs> do I remove the sticker as well? I don't think so. Oh, I did not like that. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. One more. say peel before use right if that was the case to put this back on for this
time to take a break. So I did a bit of research and yes, I am supposed to take these off. I also feel like I'm ready for a nap. And so should I just unscrew that? Preparation AMD. Mounting the radiator and fans. Whoa. Oh my god, there's so many cables. I'm not gonna be using this anyway. Well, I thought this was gonna be very easy to follow, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Ha, huh, get it. This process is messy. Again, shout out to all the YouTubers that make it look easy and clean. So I'm guessing this is a built-in AO shield and, and yeah. um, this should come off like just yank it. Oh, it's not gonna feel good. Jesus. Ah. Oh. That did not feel good. Oh. Trays for the screws. One, two, three. Six, seven, I guess eight. Somewhere. In the direction of the airflow, going to the top, that means the fan is fully air into the bottom. Yeah, then. No, three. Try to trip it. Should have said I'm awesome. Three, she's awesome. Okay, so I have eight holes, and there's eight of these, and there's more of these, so I'm gonna go with these. supposed to get there in there so I'm screwing in the motherboard and there's this one corner screw that I have no idea how I'm gonna get to because I don't have a magnetic screwdriver and screw you can I just leave that one and just not even bother <laughs> yep Attempt number two. I think I'm gonna go with a slightly bigger head on this one. It's not magnetic, it's mechanic. Yeah, but my screwdriver is too thick for... Uh, I think it's working. I got it on the second attempt. Okay, not bad. How the heck am I supposed to orient them? I mean, where do these cables go? It's probably in the manual, huh? I like that these are rubberized. I'm guessing that's for the noise and to prevent the rattling. I'm still not sure which way I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I don't know 
how tight you're supposed to screw this. Okay, I think it's time to get the... What are these? No idea what this is. Most modern radiators are actually designed so that the tubes, these flattened tubes, that's where the water actually passes through it, are offset from the screw holes. So many people have made this mistake over the years that they've changed the way they design radiators to account for it. In fact, anyway, I think it's time to put the AIO pump into place. In and out, 20 minutes adventure. <laughs> this is a cable nightmare, so I have no idea. I managed to get this one cable from plugged in, but I have no idea how to plug in these. And I have yet to get to all these cables, and these cables are gonna be so overwhelming, there's so much cables, I can't handle all the cables. All the cables. Okay, it's now a little bit later in the day, or in the night. Uh, I had something to eat, I took a nap, and I'm ready to continue. I think. Maybe I shouldn't from this hexadecimal character table. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Tell me where to plug cables in. Okay, it's been a while and I did some research off camera and I think I finally have the wires figured out. So now I'm gonna connect the PSU with all the necessary cables. I'm gonna put that in inside the case. How the heck are you supposed to do this? Um, again, props to all the YouTubers that make it look easy. It can, okay. I think I should have the fan towards the bottom of the case. I don't want to make sure just in case. So yeah, but the only thing that was throwing me off is that now this is reverse. It's upside down. So it doesn't really make much sense. Oh, that's tight. That's a tight fit. Mm -hmm. ah, here it goes. Slowly. Come closer. to wire all those cables. I'm gonna start with the thick boy. Should I just bend it? Yeah, because that can't even go through through here. I think I can just remove this. Like I don't even need it. it. May look a bit uglier. Performance first. This feels wrong. Oh, that's a bit short. Then... CPU ones. That should go through here. This is so tight, it doesn't make sense. Yes, boy. Damn you, Linus, for making this look easy.
This doesn't even stretch to there. then this is gonna look horrible. This for the GPU with not using this, just these two. But hey, I think it's finally time to put in the GPU, the object of desire. moment has come. It is time to insert. Okay, so this is this is one fear I had was clearance on this side. Technically it can fit, but squeezing it in is gonna be a challenge. So this does come off. Okay, so I was being dumb. Okay. That's gonna need a support bracket, but... I'll figure something out. I'll find something that's just the right height. I'm not worried about the aesthetics, I'll just put something these. Right now, just plug them in and see if this whole thing even boots up. Mmm, that's so pretty. This dingle dongles. Okay, let's put this back in its place. This is just a tad too tall. She kind of fits in. Now don't rush and call this a uh, themed PC build. This is just the first thing I could find that fits the the height. Yeah, works great. <laughs> Honestly, I did my best. And if something doesn't work, I'll have no clue what exactly it is that doesn't that's not working. So yeah, fingers crossed this works. Here goes. Is that it? I think it's working. Honestly, no idea what's the next step. I didn't look that much ahead. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> it doesn't sound that bad. I thought it was gonna be like a, like a jet. Yeah, not bad. It's time to install. Looks like crap, honestly. 
but I don't care. I don't care. It's gonna be a beast and that's what I care about. This was insane! That was pure luck! I was not in control of that situation at all! <laughs>